Michael's father was in the eighth grade when his father died as the result of a tragic logging accident. He was forced to leave school so he could work to help support his family. The fact that Dad never was able to go to high school, I think, was something that, that drove him to have a, a real passion about education for his children. Mike was born into a working-class neighborhood in South Minneapolis. With the country coming out of the Depression, a local developer offered his father a deal. They made it so that for a dollar a day, he could pay the principal and the interest on a loan. At the time that he purchased the house, he opened a bank account because he had to borrow money from the credit union. His first deposit was one cent, uh, and most of them were in the 15 to 20 cents, and that was out of every paycheck, which was every other week. His mom supplemented his father's salary by retouching photo negatives at home, often working past midnight. She was very outgoing and a natural leader. Almost anything she'd get involved in, she became a leader of it. She had a major part, I think, in directing that portion of my life about, you know, you can always do better. Almost everybody in the neighborhood learned to work at an early age. If you wanted spending money, you had to get a job. I never had a job where I used my mind. It was always my bond. It was construction work. It was uh, overhead line crews with the power company. It was groundman kind of jobs. It was working in grocery stores. It was paper boys. It was playing football. Mike's athletic abilities won him a high school scholarship at a local parochial school. I had to hitchhike 12 miles back and forth each way for the first two years until I was old enough to go out and buy my first car, which I did for $45. I still remember that. That was a, a 1938 Dodge. When he graduated from high school, Mike had football scholarship offers from seven schools. He chose to attend the University of Minnesota so his parents could watch him play football. He never stopped practicing, studying, or working. Dad would take the streetcar, the bus, whatever it happened to be, to work in the morning. He would ride with another gentleman who was a lawyer. And Dad would talk about what a wonderful job this man had and how wonderful it must be to be a lawyer. And of course, all the time what he was doing, he was recruiting. In order to get through law school, he took two semesters off to play professional football with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, who won the 1961 Grey Cup. Entering an accelerated program, he still finished law school in the same class he entered with. He likes to do whatever he does well, whether it's um, business, sports, and he will work as hard as he has to, to do a good job. So if you put it together, you got education, you're willing to work very hard, and you're competitive, it gives you a big advantage in this world.